discussing my book, uh, Everybody Lies, and it's basically how you can't trust what people tell you uh, in surveys or traditional data sources, uh, but you can learn what they really think and really do from certain online sources, such as their Google searches. Uh, so if you ask people, are you going to vote in the upcoming election, uh, a huge percentage of people say they will vote, even if they have absolutely no intention to vote. And you can get a misleading picture of who's going to actually turn out to vote. If you look at people's Google searches, how to vote, where to vote, this is a much better predictor of who's actually going to vote in an election. I focus a lot on Google searches because I think they're so much more honest. Uh, I've also looked at social media data. A lot of big data scholars are really into social media data these days. I think that's kind of a mistake. I think it's in many ways overrated data because people are even more deceptive on social media because they're trying to show off to their friends and not necessarily uh, show who they really are. So it's, as far as understanding what people really want, uh, what people are really doing, I think uh, Google searches are kind of revolutionary data source and uh, the other sources are maybe a little bit overrated for this, for this purpose. the digital transformation of the social sciences because that's what I've traditionally done. Uh, just that we have so much information now on people that I think uh, the amount of that we're going to learn about uh, the human psyche, what causes different attitudes, uh, how we can fix problems in our society uh, is going to be revolutionary. Uh, the, the, so, so, so that's a, a big one for me. I think the digital transformation of the economy, I would say the bigger, the biggest thing that means to me is uh, rapid experimentation. Uh, I think of all the tools that businesses are using, uh, this one may be the most powerful, uh, A-B testing, that now uh, Facebook does more experiments in a single day than uh, the FDA does in an entire year. Uh, and uh, they learn uh, very, very quickly what works, what doesn't work. Uh, and all the companies are doing this and really uh, uh, dramatically improving pr their products in a very short period of time. Well, from the corner I know about, which is uh, big data, I think a big issue is making sense of what data you can trust and what data you can't trust. So uh, there's a lot of, I think, uh, if you're trying to kind of build algorithms on what people are going to do, uh, you want to be careful that there are certain, uh, you know, data sources where people are going to be more dishonest. So social media data, for example, I think uh, businesses can get very obsessed with what people are saying about them on social media. And it's a definitely an important piece of data, but uh, you should also look about look at what people are searching about you or what people are talking about in anonymous uh, message boards to kind of round out the picture of, of, of how people, of how your customers really view you. Yeah, so there's sentiment analysis where you can kind of see are things positive, are things negative. I think some of the tools, another uh, danger is some of the tools can be fairly blunt. Uh, you say, it, you know, sentiment analysis can't pick up sarcasm very well. So there are, uh, there are definitely concerns there. I think another concern we see is uh, A-B testing is kind of uh, taking over the business world. And it is really, really powerful, but it can be misused. Uh, and uh, businesses can get very obsessed with the things they can measure, like clicks. So what makes people click on their site? Uh, and this isn't necessarily uh, the same thing as, as, what, as the, what they actually want. So you can end up maximizing clicks and uh, sacrificing long-term brand.